Hey Android developers, are you someone who knows how to write Kotlin code and has been developing Android applications? Do you wish to develop apps in iOS but just can't hit the road as you are not aware of Swift? Then this video is going to be an eye opener as with Compose, you can develop apps that work the same in Android and iOS. Today, we shall uncover a Compose multi-platform. We highly recommend you to watch this video as it's going to be an extension of it. To those who don't know Compose Multi-Platform, it's a declarative framework developed by JetBrains. This video is your one-stop shop for all about Compose Multi-Platform. In this guide, we'll be diving deep into how you can 1. Share code between Android and iOS using Kotlin Multi-Platform. 2. Build native UIs with Jetpack Compose for a seamless user experience. Number three, optimize your development workflow and save precious time. We will see a practical example with Fleet IDE. Unlike traditional IDEs, Fleet was designed from ground up with multi-platform development in mind. Its smart mode automatically detects the programming language and the platform you're working on, whether it's Kotlin for your shared code base or platform specific language for the UI. As you saw in my previous video, I had to move to Xcode to run my iOS app. Fleet eliminates the need to constantly switch between the two IDs or any configurations. Let's see how we can use this new IDE from JetBrains with a simple tutorial. Let's start with a small example wherein I'm going to demonstrate to you that your app will work with a single code base on Android and iOS. The very first thing you'll need is a JetBrains toolbox. It looks something of this sort. What you have to do is install Fleet. That's an IDE that you'll require for developing the multi-platform app. You can click on the very first URL on Google search to head over to the JetBrains website. And like me, I'm using a Mac silicon chip. So I have downloaded this app. Depending upon whether you're using Windows or an Intel chip Mac, you can download that particular toolbox. Secondly, as you have noticed, right inside the toolbox, you will get an option to download Fleet. Now, you can also download Fleet from this particular JetBrains website, wherein you can have the same version according to your processor. You can try selecting appropriate dropdown and then downloading the Fleet IDE. Well, that will not have the toolbox to be required as an intervention. Next, I'm going to show to you this Kotlin multi-platform wizard. This is an absolute bliss because it's going to give me a template of the project that too at minimal efforts. Let me show you how minimal efforts. So I'll put over here, practice, compose, multi-platform. Let me put over here, org dot programming hub. dot com and then i can select android ios but wait do you see the drop down below shows desktop web and server well that's the beauty you can have the same code running on these many environments well i intend to do for these two only and i'll click on download in matter of just seconds your template got created. Heading over to my downloads, I'm going to unzip this multi-platform project, then open my fleet ID and then open this project. So over here, what do you notice? Let me explain the folder structure in a very crisp manner. Did you notice there's an iOS app and there is this compose app? Well, right now, we are not going to even touch the iOS app 
or rather than the android mean or the ios mean let me straight away get your eyes to build gradle file see this android target and the list of targets over which i can develop the app for ios so when it comes to ios there is again two variants iphones which get manufactured with snapdragon processor and iphones which come with the bionic processor well in both cases i can have my kotlin multi platform app to generate the binary file in that particular arm processor hence you don't have to worry even if it being any app environment or the processor environment your kotlin multi platform project will cater to it talking about android yes it requires the jvm setup i have set it up to the jvm 11 that's the java 11 and then you will be able to generate an apk file next over here as i've demonstrated even in the earlier video this build gradle file has all the dependencies that my app will require specifically i want your attention to be on the compose part as this is going to be the brain child for my entire ui let me close this platform things head over to the compose app and then show you the common module did you remember this greeting that's the exact function which we had even in the last session wherein this greet was customized along with android and ios wait i'm not even going to touch even a line of code and then on the run button let me select first my compose app to be running on my pixel emulator what it will be doing is running through the code creating an apk and installing it in my device well where exactly is this button being created i'll now drag your attention to the app function over here do you notice this click me and perhaps if you have been coming from the compose background this is the entire composable that's the function on which your entire ui is based now what i'll try and do is go to the app and click on this click me button it slides down smoothly and shows the compose multi platform logo that's exactly the code which has been written here so check this thing out when i click on this button there's a toggle for the show content boolean variable initially because it's been false the image does not show up when i click on this button it toggles and it shows up or vice versa that's entirely my compose code what i'm going to next to do is try to run the app on my iphone simulator remember i did not even change one piece of code or one line of code and still it works on both the emulators and virtual devices i'll wait for the building process to get over now as the run got complete all the errors also went away and here's my ios app running with the help of compose android developers isn't that blissful you putting your kotlin knowledge in practice into an ios app what i'll now do is try to add a very simple counter by remember and i'll put new table state of 0 did you notice while i'm typing it gives suggestions which is as good as android studio next over here let me put the text counter value and just display 
counter and once this column is going to be visible what i'm going to do is increment my counter let's try and see if i run this app which right in front of you guys i have written it in compose i'm going to run it on an ios environment on the run button i'll choose ios and over here i'll do stop session and run which will recompile my code and run it again on my simulator that's my code now when i click on click me do you notice the counter value going up on an ios simulator that's my kotlin code which runs beautifully well on my ios app let me now go ahead and just stop this iphone run this app this time i'll take my emulator wait for this build for successful to be finish and now click on the click me button did you notice the same code now working on the android emulator i hope this video helped you gain a solid understanding of this exciting world for building cross platform apps with compose remember this is just the tip of the iceberg there's a whole lot more to come with compose multi platform and we'll be diving deeper into specific functionalities and the best practices in upcoming videos in our next video we will demonstrate how you can do api calls with compose multi platform so if you want to stay ahead of the curve and level up your compose skills don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update we have got a lot of great content lined up for you and we can't wait to share it with you happy coding